What's up guys welcome to our channel eTechnese. In this video we will talk about how to fix the error which says Windows cannot access the specified device path or file you may not have appropriate permissions. We will discuss the methods to fix this problem in your Windows PC but before going further we like to suggest you to watch the complete video before you implement any of the method given in this video because that's a way how you have to do the troubleshooting. Without further ado let's talk about the methods. Method 1. Check the permissions. In this method you have to check the permission that you have the complete permission to operate that application, files or folder or not. For to check the permission do a right click on the application or the folder or the file. Click on properties. Click on security. As you can see the information in here it says full control, modify, read and execute, read, write, special permission. All of these permission are available for this system user. If I select eTechnese which is my desktop username then you can see what permissions I have to change for Microsoft Edge. If I want to change the permission for the eTechnese account then click on edit. Here you can see the permission for system. Select your group name, select your username and select allow. You can see when I clicked on full control allow it gave me the complete permission to read, write, read and execute, modify. I have all permission to make changes to Microsoft Edge. After making the changes, click on apply and OK. That's how you have to change the permission. Method 2. Connect the drive. If you are experiencing the problem with a shortcut, it may be a shortcut contributes to a file that has been on a removable disk and that drive is no more attached to a PC. In cases like this, window fails to find real file supporting your shortcut and ends up showing you the error message that windows cannot access the specified device path or file. You may not have appropriate permissions. You can correct the problem by plugging your removable drive into your PC. If you have the pen drive and you have created a shortcut on your desktop from the application you have in the pen drive then you have to connect that pen drive or the external hard drive to your PC so that you can access that application or the file. Once you'll connect it just simply double click on the application or the files or the folder. It will not show you the error message. It will comes up properly. Method 3. Check the locations. If you have created a shortcut in your desktop screen of any file, folder or application and you are trying to open that application and it's throwing you the message that windows cannot access the file. That means you have to check the file location. For to check the file location do a right click on the application. Click on properties. Here you can see the target location. Click on it. As you can see this application is in program files, Google and in Chrome and after that application and then chrome.exe. So what I have to do, I do not have to select the chrome.exe in here. I have to select the rest of the path. Here you have to make sure you are not selecting the comma. You can see that. Do a right click, click on copy, open the windows explorer. Here as you can see, I cannot see any option to open the windows explorer. For to open it, you can press a shortcut key on your keyboard and by pressing it you can open the windows explorer. Press and hold it down the windows key on your keyboard on the left bottom side. You will see the four square icons. Press and hold it down that key on your keyboard and press E. E as an echo. Once you'll press both keys together then you'll see file explorer. Click on this bar and paste the location. Afterwards press enter or you can click on this arrow. Here I can see the application. If this application which you are trying to open is showing you the error and not opening up properly then you can delete the shortcut and recreate the shortcut in your desktop screen. Close this one. Delete the shortcut. Click on the chrome icon. This is the application which I was trying to open and showing me the error. So simply do a right click. Take your cursor on send to and click on desktop. Create shortcut. Once you'll do that you can see the shortcut in here. Once you have a shortcut, double click on it and open it. Method 4. Remove the block. When a document comes from an untrusted origin, window will obstruct access to the document. This is to protect your PC from any possible dangers. This blocking of untrusted file may cause windows to show the error when you attempt to start an untrusted file. You can tell windows the file is safe to start and windows will unblock the document for you. Here you can unblock that file or application or folder 
by following the step to remove the blockage. For an example, if Google Chrome is blocked by Windows, then what are the steps I have to take to unblock it? Simply do a right click on the app, document, file or the folder. Click on properties. Here click on journal tab. In the journal, here you'll see an option to unblock it. Simply you have to uncheck the unblock. Click on apply and OK. Once you'll do that, that means you're adding an information to your Windows PC that this file is trustworthy and Windows doesn't have to block it every time whenever you download that file or try to open in your Windows PC. There is a detailed tutorial video given in the description. You can watch that tutorial. Surely you will find more options to fix this error message. If you like this video, then do not forget to subscribe our channel and select all to the bell notification. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.